My knowledge of Estonia prior to my arrival here was scant to say the least. Having successfully applied for an engineering job whilst in England, I was left with little time to research my future home before saying my goodbyes and boarding the plane for a new life. One thing I did know for sure, I knew Estonia had been previously occupied and incorporated into the communist empire, and my last encounter with a former communist territory made a strong impression on me. An impression that was by no means unique, but calculated so by the socialist planners of East Berlin who were keen to demonstrate the power and glory of the Union by constructing vast unwavering canyon-like boulevards pointed directly at Moscow, Karl Marx Alley being a prime example. These memories filled my mind whilst on the flight, and it was then no surprise that I should call out on spotting a group of rigid tower blocks. Look, communists! On landing and being taxied through the city, any lingering notions of architectural genocides were quickly dispelled, as the abundance of well-preserved medieval structures and edgy modernism was enough to make me feel on holiday in an exotic location. After settling, I can say that this last year I have participated in traditional song and dance at Viljandi Folk Festival, performed poems and songs to release my Christmas presents from a family Santa Claus, gazed up at the New Year's Eve fireworks from Zebrady Hill, Tartu, sat on Tchaikovsky's bench Harpsalu, and made it out to the country for a friendly lashing in an unbearable, unbearably hot smoke sauna. I have been impressed by the quality of variety of Estonian dairy products, cakes, chocolates, and the overall wholesomeness and honesty of Estonian cooking. I found the national character excessively reserved at times, but honorable with common roots in the surrounding natural landscape, which is beautiful in its clarity.